Hello and welcome to another tutorial, or it is another tutorial, watch me work, let's fix an old plugin, upgrade it and answer a question from a user all in one go, but that's a bit long to get in the YouTube description, so let's call it a tutorial, watch me work. You might have seen last week we released XFX video conference for Final Cut Pro 10. Um, it was absolutely amazing, let me show you the page. Within 24 hours, more than a thousand people had downloaded this thing. And it was great because we know a lot of people are trying to do um, Zoom conferences or emulate Zoom conferences within Final Cut Pro 10. And just let me show you, we had this sent in by Daniel and that's all his uh, brass band playing from home, as you can see on there. And he was very grateful for us for making that. And that's a great result. We really like to see stuff like that. Just let me run quickly through XFX video conference. There are three versions, a four way kind of quad split, a nine way and a 16. So that's four by four. If I show you the quad split, as it's easier to see in the inspector, we've got a drop down for where to put the image. So you can put any one of five with this because we've actually got a full screen as well. But that lived in the bottom right. We've got picture position. So there's a bit of wiggle room if you want to crop something out and you can do the scale. And also we've got the name super in the bottom left, like a Zoom conference, and we can change the text, we can change the position, the size of that, and the color of the background. Daniel used the 16 way, but we had an inquiry from Vanessa in Australia. She said, I'm doing a school project and was wondering if you had any generators that are larger than 16 tiles. I'm doing a lot more. I have a choir of 60 plus students and they all want to sing and I'm not the most tech savvy person, but your tiles look amazing. Are you able to help me at all? Thank you in advance. It's good news and bad news. The answer is we thought about building some more plugins with more pictures, but then we thought, says he changing his glasses as he does this. And then we thought that's probably not going to gain you much because you've got 16. We're actually using stills here because we haven't got 16 videos. You've got 16 tracks stacked on top of each other, each with a plugin on it. And yes, on my iMac Pro, Final Cut Pro 10 plays. If you were to put 60 stacked on top of each other and all synced, um, it's not like a multicam where you've just got one active angle. They would all play and you'd have to have exceptionally fast disks and a fast computer. So... Although we kind of thought, yeah, OK, the easy way to do this is to do a five by five on here. So you'd have you'd have to rename all these somehow, wouldn't you? You'd have to be row one, row two, row three, etc. So you'd end up with a five by five. So that would be 20. Um, uh, yeah, five by five would be 25. But that still wouldn't be enough for 60. So we thought there must be a better way. And we think there is. And let me show it to you now. And you're never going to guess what we're going to use. Yet we're going to use compound clips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 16, this 4x4, four four, select all of the clips. And there's quite a lot of them on there. And I'm going to right click and make compound clip. Or you can go Alt or Option G. Now let's call that first 16. Go OK. Now, if you're ahead of me, you can probably guess what we're going to do next. We've done a compound clip. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop the XFX video conference quad split on. And as you can see, it goes straight into that one already when I hover over it. But what I'm what I'm first going to do is I'm actually going to just duplicate these up on there. In fact, I might not get around to using the fourth one. Let's drop the quad split on there. Yep, like that, but I need to take that off. That's not a problem because we've got a little toggle on here to take that off. And there you can see we've got 16 in the top left hand quadrant. OK, same again with this one. Bear in mind, you'd probably be making, you know, you wouldn't have the people on twice. You'd make another 16 clip of 16. So you need to do the stack of 16 again and then drop this on again. And we're going to do that. It's not going to be top left. It's going to be top right. Take the name off. Yep, we're getting there. And then the last one. Yeah, this isn't going to play, is it? You, you, you're going to have to sync the whole lot up. Um, the first 16 and have a track on there. When you built it up, take the track off when you've done it. Right, let's go 16 on there. And what am I doing 16? No, that'd be far too many, wouldn't it? Let's drop that on there. And that would be... Bottom left, take the toggle off. Now, 
She said she wanted 60, and you can see that we're going to go and get 64 if my, my maths is good on there. I did binary at school. But if you haven't got 64, you're not limited to making the same one per quad split. So I could actually take this one, which is the nine way new compound clip. Let's call that nine way and drop that on and then put the quad split on that. And that's going to be bottom right. That's hiding at the moment. Bottom right and toggle that off. And there you can see we have a lot of people on there. And yes, you could go up to 64, but using a combination of, of, of different ones, then you've got the different permutations on there. So you can certainly go more than just the 16 that we started off with um, before. So Vanessa, I hope that answers your question. Good luck making up a 64 way split. It's going to be interesting to watch. And maybe you could send us a link uh, to YouTube um, with the finished result because we would be interested to see it. We haven't seen anything go that big. So there you go. An answer to a question. Um, more tutorials, more plugins. Um, we've got a new commercial product coming out very shortly, which is very cool, which we'll probably do a little tease on. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. As always, a like and subscribe and even a comment go down well. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Bye.